Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We welcome you to Wings of Intercession Prophetic Prayer Movement. We're in midnight prayer. We thank God for each and every one of you. We ask that you be the evangelist of the ministry. Uh, invite others to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel because you don't know who has need of Jesus this morning. Don't forget to turn on your notifications and hit the subscribe button as we continue on our journey. Glory to God to break chains and destroy yokes of the enemy. We're in this week. We're praying for our children, standing in the gap for our children. And our scripture foundation for this morning is Luke chapter 1, verse 48 through 49. The new, uh, the passion translation, the passion translation for he set his tender gaze upon me, his lowly servant girl, servant boy. And from here on, everyone will know that I have been favored and blessed. The mighty one has worked a miracle, mighty miracle for me. Holy is his name. The Lord is going to work a mighty miracle on your behalf concerning your children and your grandchildren. I prophesy that you're going to see the manifestation of the word of the Lord, the mighty miracle for the most holy God who loves you, who cares about you and your children. As we touch and agree in prayer this morning, I want your faith to increase for this mighty miracle that's going to rest upon you and your children. And so we're getting ready to pray, and I'm just believing God to have his way. Spirit of the living God, we thank you, Father, for this day, this opportunity to dwell in your presence. Forgive us for all of our sins, known and unknown. We decrease that you increase, and we invite the Holy Spirit to lead, guide, and direct us in time of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up our children and our grandchildren to the seventh generation unto you, Father. And first of all, we repent as a parent for things we may have done knowingly and unknowingly. Father, we repent for the trauma we may have passed on to our children from attitude problems and issues, God, and cycles and patterns of dysfunction and disparity that we may have caused in our family's life, Father, in the name of Jesus. Anything that our parents, our grandparents to the seventh generation, God, may have placed upon us, taught us bad habits, bad ha habits, cycles, and patterns that we don't even realize that exist, oh God, that hides under the radar of the anointed. I pray that you bring it up to the surface and you expose, reveal, and remove every root. I heard the Lord say this. He's healing the root of the thing. Glory to God. He's healing our roots. And what he means by that generational patterns and cycles are being healed. That The curse will stop with you and the blessings of the Lord shall overtake you and your family. You're going to see the mighty hand of God. Glory to God. Rest upon your bloodline. God is healing the root. And as he heals the roots, the blood of Jesus is going through our roots going through the roots of things and getting into the crevice of things and begin to touch the mind of our children, healing their mind of all of the uh, uh, depression, anxiety, fear, worry, doubt, frustration. We cancel now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come. Thank you, Lord, that everything is cleansed through the blood of Jesus, washed in the blood of Jesus, purified in the blood of Jesus, purged in the blood of Jesus. And as you rise as a mighty God to work a mighty miracle in our children, Children. Lord, you know the numbers of hairs on their head. You know they're going in and coming out. You know their names, Father. So we go and ask that you reach them right where they are. We pray for angels to be gathered around them and camped around them, God. We pray for the right people, places, and things to begin to invade their life, God. And we pray that if any child is in danger, God, any child is entrapped with any lies of the enemy, Father, expose, reveal, and remove. We come praying for the healing of our self-esteem of our children. We pray in the name of Jesus that they will rise as mighty men and women of God. Glory to God as kings and queens in the kingdom of God. Lord, teach them to walk in your ways and your precepts according to Psalms 119. In the name of Jesus, God, Lord, let your word be the lamp unto their feet and the light unto their path. God, as you're leading and guiding them in the way they need to go, Lord, let them be designed in your image and likeness. Lord, let, us, let them not reflect us, God. 
Let them not reflect our carnality, our fleshliness. Glory to God. Anything in us that's not of you, God, but let them take on the good things that we have taken on upon with Christ. Glory to God. Everything, our behavior, our cycles, our patterns that glorify your name, let it be instilled upon our children that they will begin to represent you well. Let them be created in your, they were created in your image and likeness, God, and their light is shining bright and their reflection is the reflection reflection of Christ in the name of Jesus, Lord, as you're teaching them to walk with you, God, daily, the Holy Spirit is bringing up wisdom, knowledge, understanding, revelation, the mysteries of your will concerning their life. They're being led by the Spirit in every direction, God. They will not go in the wrong direction. They will not be caught up in deceit, nor distractions, nor disturbances, God. And Lord, we pray for the trauma of this generation. Through all of the premature death, those that are grieving their friends, God, those that are grieving the death of their families, God, those that are grieving, glory to God, the life they used to have, glory to God. I pray that you go up deep in the roots of them and get down in the crevice of their blood and cause the blood of Jesus to overtake any bloodline curse in the name of Jesus. We renounce every covenant agreement, every illegal activity through witches and warlocks, through sorcery, God, through any illegal legal covenant they may have gotten an agreement with father we pray father have mercy forgive them for their sins knowingly and un- we stand in the gap for them repenting on their behalf for the sins that they have caused god things that they have done things that they have done knowingly or unknowingly we pray for the grace to be extended we pray for the mercy seat of god we pray god that you continuously cleanse and wash their mind their heart their soul and lord we pray for their relationships god let them have covenant covenant relationship with you, covenant relationship with their family, God, covenant relationship with the right people, and Lord, any connections, any covenant that they have made illegally, any legal activity that they don't discern well, God, give them the gift of discernment. Give them greater grace of understanding and revelation, oh Father. Teach them to walk in your ways and your precepts. Teach them to walk upright before you, oh Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray if there's any addiction in our children, God, we pray that you dig up the root and plant the seed of life and righteousness. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, deliver them from every addiction, God, in the name of Jesus, from the A to the Z, because there are so many more new things that have taken place things that we have not seen nor have we heard, but they are secretly in the earth, Father. Every drug, that new cartel that's coming up out of glory to God, Cuba, I curse it with a curse that will not come up on the rise of things, God, that it will not get into the United States and nor get into our children, nor get into any of those who are uh, struggling with substance abuse. We pray even, God, that you cleanse and wash the mind of our children, that mental illness Illness is not their portion. P- PTSD is not their portion, God. A- all these things, these acronyms that they have placed titles upon our children, we renounce the covenant now in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare they are mighty men, mighty women of God, glorifying your name and all that they do in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you break the chains of their hearts, deliver them from the works of the devil, God, that they will not be bitter or resentful or reject walk in rejection, God. They will not walk in abandonment, God. They will not walk in disappointment, God. They will not tear down themselves. They will not feel inadequate, God. Even the cursed things that has been spoken through teachers, through parents, through family members, through gossiping, glory to God, through mockery. Oh, Father, we we bind up the works of the devil now. We renounce every covenant agreement. We send it back to the pit of hell to never rise again in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree and declare that the blood of Jesus is flowing and flourishing in their life, that they're going to walk in new dispensations of deliverance and healing and restoration. And Father, wherever those children may have been touched or molested or raped or mishandled emotionally, abuse, uh, substance abuse, any type of abuse, God, we pray for the healing to start now. We pray that you lead and guide them to the right doctors and 
physicians, God, and those who can give them what they need, wise counsel, God. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, lead and guide us as parents to know what to do in this season, to know what to say in this season, to know how to move with our children in this season, not walking on eggshells, not walking in fear, not walking in discouragement, not walking in disappointment, oh, Father, but trusting and believing your word. We believe for a mighty miracle in the life of our children today and our grandchildren, God, things we don't even know that that is hiding under the radar of the watching. I thank that the Holy Spirit is making intercession with groans that cannot be uttered. So as you're moving by your spirit, God, deliver our family today. Deliver them, Lord. I pray for parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and nieces and nephews, God. Everyone that's standing in the gap and, and being in a place where there is an absent Mother, our Father, I pray that you anoint us for the assignment to stand in the gap. God, you said that you are the mother to the motherless and father to the father. We pray for the orphans. We pray for those who are in uh, shelters, oh God. Pray for those that are homeless, oh Lord Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus that you cover them in the blood. Protect them from harm and danger, God. In the name of Jesus, let there not be any spies and heart hurtful people in the school systems, in the education system, in the college system. Glory to God. And wherever our children are, you are present help in the time of trouble. So we look upon the hills which come at our help. Our help comes from you. We rely on you to help us to navigate through these dark and evil days. Lord Jesus, teach us uh, to trust you with our children as we give them back to you. We dedicate them back to you. We lay them at your feet because these are your children. We honor you, God, for anointing us to even carry out the assignment as a mother or a father, a grandmother or a grandfather. Lord Jesus, anoint us afresh in this season that we will be able to guide our children in the right direction through your word, oh God, through wisdom, through wise counsel, O Lord Jesus, through prayer, O God, through even fasting, O Lord Jesus, as we continuously seek your face, cry out for mercy and lead us and guide us through your word to undergird them and pray. We pray over the prophetic word that was spoken over our children and our grandchildren, God. We pray that uh, that word is being washed over through your word, O oh Lord, and that word should not return unto you or us void. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that mighty miracles are resting upon. I pray for the children that are sick, God, through cancer and all these different diseases, O oh Lord, and even the new ones that's trying to come up in the earth. We plead the blood of Jesus and we decree and declare that by your stripes they are healed delivered and set free from all sickness all disease all infirmity God all iniquity oh father in the name of Jesus let every strong man be overtaken through the strong man of Jesus Christ uh, you will overtake their minds heart soul and spirit and they will walk in deliverance they will walk in healing they will walk in salvation they will walk in restoration they will walk in breakthrough they will walk in understanding of who they are they will walk worthy of the call in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for favor, financial favor, for those who are looking for education, oh Lord Jesus. We thank you for the divine connections, holy hookups, people going out of the way to bless our children. Thank you, Lord, for grants and contracts and uh, all these things that are on the in the earth waiting for our children to have. We thank you, Lord, that nothing would miss them, that things that are good, of good reports, they will find them, they will locate them, good things, blessings, favor, increase, open doors, opportunities. Thank you, Lord, G connections, godly connections, Why? Wise counsel, glory to God. When we can't reach them, God, send wise counsel, send angelic hosts, oh Lord Jesus. And in those children that are disobedient and operating in rebellion, Father, we pray that you break the chains and destroy the yokes and let parents be able to navigate through wise counsel, through the wisdom of the Holy Spirit, leading them and guide them in the way they need to go to know how to fill our mouths with words and know how to fill our hearts with the right prayers. Fill our ears with the right things that we need to hear to speak the oracles of God over our, their lives. We will prophesy over our children and our children shall prophesy. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. They shall cast out devils in Jesus name. They shall fulfill the call and the great commission of Jesus Christ. They shall do the great and mighty exploits of the kingdom of God. They shall rise and call us blessed in the name of Jesus. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. We renounce every covenant agreement that has been made illegally in the realm of the 
spirit. We thank God for the power of the blood that's at work. We thank God for the strength of the Lord that's resting upon them. Thank Lord in the time of the temptation, they will take the way of escape. And Lord, I thank you that delivers it their portion. God, you'll deliver them from nicotine, alcoholism, drug addiction, glory to God, sexual perversion. Oh Lord, we pray for the identity of our children and their, their, uh, that the spirit of homosexuality will not overtake them, God, that they will walk in the uh, identity of Christ and not get caught up in peer pressure, not get caught up in being a follower versus a leader, God, not being caught up in misunderstandings and guidance, not looking for love in all the wrong places, God. So we pray that you begin to uh, break chains, destroy yokes, annihilate lies, and sever the soul ties of their life that's not, that is ungodly. Thank you, Lord Jesus, to get to the root of the issue as you cause in healing to take place in our roots. Lord, let us continue to be an example to our children, our grandchildren, to be the beacon light, God, not through judgment, not through religion. And Lord, let us connect, communicate, let us connect through communication to our children. Not that they will not listen, but they will begin to trust us to speak or to listen or to adhere to what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you're quickening their spirit now that they have an intimate relationship with you and you're delivering them out of all things that the enemy has set up against their life. We pray for a hedge of protection to watch over them, God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that whatever may hide under the radar of the anointing, you're bringing exposure now. And I decree and declare, God, that they hear your voice and obey your instructions and the voice of a stranger they will not follow. They're led of the Spirit, walk in the Spirit, have the fruit of the Spirit. I thank you, Lord Jesus, God, that they will not rebel against their family. They will not rebel against you, O oh God. They will not rebel against their standards of activity of the kingdom of God. That they will walk worthy of the call in the name of Jesus. God, we give you glory today for what you have done, what you're doing, what you're getting ready to do. Let there be signs and wonders and miracles that follow us because we believe. We pray for the runaway children, God. Pray for a safe place for those who are in unsafe places, God. We pray in the name of Jesus that no one will be bound up in, in the lies of the enemy, that they will be saved and set free from the works of the devil. And we give you glory, praise, and honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, amen, and hallelujah. We thank God for each and every one of you. We thank God for the fire of the Holy Ghost. I don't know why my alarm went off, but I guess the fire from the prayers of the righteous. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As the fire alarm is on, we decree and declare the fire of God is resting in the name of Jesus and delivering our children from everything the enemy would use. We thank God that there will be fruit and evidence of your power working in our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.